y'all, welcome back. In today's video, we're gonna talk about how to find your ideal client. So, are you my client? Are you my client? I kind of feel like that book, that kid's book, <laughs> of all of like, are you my mom, are you my mom? So that's what it really felt like when I was starting my practice way back when. I was so worried about making ends meet, paying my bills, that I would see any client that called. And what ended up happening is I worked way too much and I kept having to do so much research when somebody would come in with renal disease. I don't know anything about renal disease anymore, but I needed to see patients. It wasn't the greatest idea. So today we're gonna to talk about how to find your ideal client. But first off, why is that so important? So you're able to provide a specific type of treatment for the client you love working with. You become very focused and you have fun because it's exactly what you wanted to be doing. So first we're going to niche down. And I know this is super popular right now. There's a million and 12 videos about niching down and it actually is really important. So with niching down, think about all the clients that you've worked with uh, through your rotations, that you're currently working with, even at the hospital, that you just really love and that you feel really good about helping. So write everything down. Then you're gonna get another pen and I want you to see if you can clump them together. So it might be all of the medical nutrition therapy or it might be a clump of sports. So see if you can create three broad areas that you enjoy. I'm just gonna use mental health, medical nutrition, and cardiovascular. So those are my three areas. From here, I want you to create an ideal client. For example, you want to kind of create how does this person talk? So I want you to think of one person that you are going to talk to every single time you're doing your marketing, every single time you're writing a blog post, every single time you're doing a video, I am talking to one person. I know, it sounds a little bananas, and it did to me when I was first doing this, and it really is important because you're going to use all of this for marketing. Now you're going to research them. Think about how old they are, what gender they are, what kind of books do they read, where do they hang out online, what kind of things they think are fun. And it really helps you to connect and have a meaningful conversation when writing all of your marketing. When I first started doing this, I was so scared that I was going to limit myself. Well, if I said that they're X age and X gender and all of that, I was worried it was just gonna pull me back and I wasn't gonna be able to reach as many people. But in reality, it actually helps me to have a more authentic connection through all of my marketing materials. The other piece that I want you to think about is their emotional struggle. So what I mean by that is what does it feel like for them and what is going on with them that is really hard. So with my medical person, they're struggling with cardiovascular disease. They feel overwhelmed. They feel like they don't know what to do. They feel lost. They feel scared. Maybe with your sports people, they feel driven, they feel excited, they feel competitive, whatever that feeling is, really hone in on it. If you don't know them, try to think about what it would be like for you to do something that you've never done and you have to ask for help. So those would be the emotions that if you had to ask for help, what is gonna come across? The last piece is, is how will you fix their problem. And this comes down to really doing what I call the so what test. So it might be, I provide one-on-one -on -one nutritional counseling. So what? Everybody else does. Well, I fix gut health. So what? Everybody else does. I help my clients feel better so that they can really engage with their family and have a better connection. Oh, that's where you want your clients to be able to say, yeah, that's really what I'm struggling with. I start with that feeling, I start with how I'm able to do that, and then I get to nutritional counseling. So talking about that feeling and getting to where and how I'm going to do it is really the purpose of the so what. So anytime you're kind of thinking about how am I going to fix their problem, I want you to use the so what test and really get to the bottom of it. 
<laughs> so now, guess what guys? You're ready to market. We've really identified your ideal client. We've niched down. We've gotten to know them. We have put together our whole entire pitch based off of their feelings. We've done our so what test. We are ready to market. So in our next couple of videos, we're gonna talk about how to actually do that. You guys are fabulous. Keep being amazing. I will see you in the next videos. Have a fabulous rest of your day. Bye guys.